Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today to Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. Today's fly is Tox Chronomid. To start this one out, we're gonna start with a Firehole 718. This is a hook we've been using a lot. We're just really fond of the, the profile and the wide gape that Firehole has done on this model. With that, we're gonna add some Mitch tubing and clear. That'll be the main body of our fly. For the thorax, we're gonna use mostly the Vivas thread, the 16 odd I'm using today for the um, thorax, and then it'll have some Flashaboo um, added to it as well, just for a little bit of uh, flare, some, uh, some flash for the fish to see in blue and red. And then we will finish it off. The gills of the fly will be the Sparkle Emerger yarn, and these are the clear white color. So to start out, we're just gonna do what we normally do behind our hook eye here, and we're gonna start our thread with some locking wraps. Going back, you don't wanna go back too far though, cause we're gonna, uh, we don't wanna cover up our hook shank. We're gonna use that as the underbody of the fly under the tubing here. So just some wraps to make sure that our thread is secure and kind of position where you want it. You can kind of figure out where you want your thorax to be and, and measure that out. Um, I'm gonna do it, I guess about a third of the length of the shank of the hook here. And we can play with that as we work on our fly as well. But the first material we're gonna tie in is the midge tubing and clear. And we're just gonna tie that in right here at the front and make sure that it's nice and secure and cover it all up. I'm going to try and avoid cutting any of it off and just wrap right down on it, bite into it. Just like so. Make a nice neat thorax here for us to work on when we come back up in a second. And then I'm going to do a quick half hitch or two right behind the hook eye and throw my bobbin on the bobbin cradle, get it out of the way so that we can wrap our body. So with the midge tubing here, just going to start to wrap it backwards, going towards the hook bend. Not too tight, but you do want to keep some good pressure on it. You don't want them to unravel on you or anything like that. Just looking for that nice segmentation. This will be the, the main body of our fly here. So typically this is a tox chronomid, so it's Rick Takahashi is the creator. He's an Umpqua Feather Merchants tire. This is one of his unique patterns. Uh, so traditionally he does it on a Tiemco 200R, which is a bronze colored hook, which can be important to the fly if uh, you feel like that's the coloration that you need for the chronomids that you're trying to match. Uh, but I really like the darker color variation as well. And it's just a really nice looking fly on this uh, Firehole 718. So we go all the way back to the hook bend and then we do the same wraps just on up to the front to where our thorax is there. And then we can come back and capture it off with our thread. Just like so. A few wraps to make sure that that's not gonna come loose on us. And then we can trim out the excess material here. And I left a little bit of a tag in just to kind of give me confidence. You can wrap that in, it was on the far side there. You can kind of, maybe kind of see it. Just like so, wrap that down and out of the way. So now I'm gonna work on just a little bit of a taper here up onto the tubing. And we'll add some of those flashier materials. So we can go back onto the tubing a little bit because I encroached on my thorax a little bit. Right in, there we are. That looks like the proportions I'm going for. And then we'll bring in that tinsel material. So two different colors, we're gonna use blue and red. And this is just the flash blue tinsel. I'm gonna tie the red in on the side closest to me. Just right on the side here. And then I'm gonna trim that out a little bit. We are gonna pull it forward, so you wanna leave yourself enough room to work with, but I'm gonna use the same piece on this far end here, or the side closest to you. And we'll tie that back just like so, but making sure that we're keeping kind of that nice gradual slope from the hook eye back to where the abdomen begins. 
And then one more piece of flash. Actually, I'm going to use two pieces of flash for the top here in conjunction. And they're the blue color. Just like it to be a little bit thicker on top. You can wrap those on. Put a little spin so that my loops go the, toward the back of the fly. I'm having a hard time capturing this. And just position it where you want it so to keep those red ones on the side and the blue one on the top. Just like so. Use your material clip to keep everything out of the way. It's nice on this mongoose vice that you have that. And then we'll clean things up just a little bit, cover that all up with the black thread before we bring it on forward here. Just like so, and then I'm going to bring them up to the front. I tend to do it pretty much all at the same time, and what I'll do is I'll just loosely tie them in and then kind of reposition them and get them where I want them, but you could tie them in individually as well. Quite a bit easier to do it that way. There we go. So a couple of wraps, and then I can kind of work out where I want all those to be. So I'm just getting them nice and tight on those thread wraps and then secure them in. And trim out your excess. So we got one more material before we start to Add some UV finish to this fly, which is a cool aspect as well. I'm going to add a little bit of Antron, or this is actually Sparkle Emerger yarn. You can use Antron, but Sparkle Emerger yarn is basically the same thing there. And we're just going to tie it right in on top, and I'm just going to kind of X-wrap it on right on the top of the hook, right behind the hook eye, just making sure that you're not going to crowd it too bad there. With some figure eights. And then we're going to trim those short. You could use the hook gape to measure it out if you want to make sure each fly is consistent from one to the next. I'm going to kind of eyeball it here. We'll trim it just like so. You can always kind of Work them back, start long, or on the long side, and then you can trim down from there. If you go too short, then can't come back from that. So I'm going to whip finish a couple of times right in front of that. Just like so. And then we're going to use some of this UV product. I'm going to use the fluorescing today just to kind of get a different look. Um, traditionally, it's just a clear finish. You could do it with an epoxy, uh, like a hard head, loon hard head, um, or any of the clear finishes that they they offer. Just uh, the thinner ones are typically a little bit easier to manage. The thinner the flow, this fluorescing is a pretty viscous consistency, so it works well on this fly. And just start with some on top, kind of build it up on there, and then I usually grab my bodkin or dummy needle and push it around and kind of get it all over the fly where I want it. So we'll start with just a little bit and then we'll work our way up and kind of build more and more. You want the head of your fly to be just a little bit bigger in proportion than the body of your fly. And you'll see when I hit this with the UV light what that fluorescing does that's in this finish here. So I tend to kind of use the body. I want just a real light coating on the tubing 
And then a, a bit of a thicker coating up on the thorax there. So, I didn't quite put my tinsel tight enough there, but that'll be okay. Keep it moving and then we'll hit it with some UV. And you can see it's got kind of a greenish tint to it or just a pearlescent tint to it. That's the fluorescing in this, which makes it really nice. If you got some uh, dirtier water, it'll work really well. I got a little bit up in the antron, but that's not a problem. It'll just help light that material up as well and stiffen it out. But I'm gonna trim that out just a little bit. Make it a little bit shorter here. Yeah, so I'm turning the vise just to keep it from all bubbling up on one side. If you don't rotate the vise, it'll drip off of the bottom potentially on you. There we go, that's how I'd like it there. So nice and even, you can see I got just a little bit of a bulbous thorax going into that uh, abdomen. But there's a finished tox chronomid.